The Chetty Jagan International Airport recently reported the recovery of 5,500 US dollars dropped by an incoming passenger. The passenger arrived from overseas and somehow dropped the money. On discovering the loss, the passenger reported the matter to the airport. Airport security then scanned the security cameras and saw another passenger pick up the money. The matter was reported to the police who successfully trapped the second passenger to Barbies. Interrogation led to the recovery of the money. Retired Assistant Police Commissioner Paul Slow said there was unfinished business. I want to know why wasn't the person from whom this money was recovered charged with larceny? Why? This is the case according to the report, according to them. This thing might have fallen at the airport from this incoming passenger. It would appear another passenger saw it, pick it up, and traveled all the way to Barbies. He said that the second passenger should have been charged with larceny. They say a person steals who, without claim of right, made in good faith, takes and carries away anything capable of being stolen with intent at such time of taking permanently to deprive the owner thereof. He said that there are several types of larceny. This second passenger had no right of claim to the property. Many times you might have cases where um, a person owes someone. Let me say you owe a man money and you're paying. So this man go and pick up some property belonging to you and say, well, look, I'm taking this because you owe me. In other words, he is claiming. He's trying to establish a claim of right to this property. And they tell you to something that is capable of being stolen must have a value must have a value and you would note policemen that when you charge larceny other offenses to where you charge larceny you have to attach a value to the item that was stolen this woman passed all them police station and all of those places and go all the way to bobby's so it was clear when i said woman the person i'm not sure is a woman so therefore it is clear that they had no intention to return it. It is clear that the intention was to permanently deprive the owner of this $5,500.